So in this video, we are going to see how to replace the objects. So first of all, I will create a cylinder. And let us create another cylinder. And I will place uh, exactly to the edge of the cylinder, first of all. So just I will like rotate and I will place here. Now what I will do is I will create number of copies around this object. So in order to do that first, I need to change the pivot point. So I will press D and V so that uh, I will change the pivot point to the center of the cylinder. And now we will make a number of copies like control D rotation. And now press shift D to make a number of copies. So after this, uh, what the thing is now I want to replace with other objects. So let's say I will create another object. Just will make some changes. So just I will remove this cap. Just I will extrude, push it down. And I will make some extrude. Okay. So what the thing is, I want to replace this object in this position here. So first what we need to do is we have to select all the objects. And now I will just modify center pivot. So what the thing is now in this place, I want to replace with this object here. So first we need to select all the objects and literally we have to select this one. And just we need to go to modify and there is an option like replace object and make sure you have to select the box. And defaultly here, there will be like copy option. So I will select it to like instance. And also suppose if you want to change the scale, then we need to enable the scale or else we need to disable this option. And make sure you have to enable the rotation so that this object will rotate according to the angle of this object here. So just after this, we have to click on this replace. So here I have to select the instance because whenever I make any changes in this main object, it will be applied to the number of duplicates. So click on this replace object. Now see it has been replaced. So like suppose if I select any vertex or if I select any faces, if I extrude, see now it is making a changes to this object here. So now it has been increased the size of this object. Suppose if you want to maintain this same size. So when we are replacing, if I go to this modify, replace objects, and we need to disable the scale option so that it will maintain the same size here. So in this way, we can replace the object easily. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.